Joyce. No, Joyce, no, sell over stone. No, Joy, no, for the No, Joy, no, sell over stone. No, it is no, Joy. No, Joy, no, sell over stone. No, Joy, no, get it wrong. Joy, I'm really the happy. Joy, 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 Joy. Wait. Only tell him one way to do it. I don't know what I can for this. I don't want I was in the studio, I was in the I was in the studio, 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 I was in the I was in the studio, I I was in the I was in the studio, I was in the I because as they are talking about your water and support, you go to do another uh, motivational speech. Because the one is so courageous. I would drop the video. I want you know how I lost to it. Bro. And I want for you to stick it out. What's this? Stick it out. Go on, go watch my video on the video. Don't forget to comment on the comment section. Bro. What do you feel about this? Is what I and I tell I never want me to be, I look like a top police. And I tell I never want me to be, I look like a top police. And what is? What is about to have got up very soon? I do it with Zazu, Zilizu, I love the zoo. Go, where's the video? I'll comment in the comment section what you feel about this video. Can you go? I don't want to go into my girlfriend. are the owners of the party that I represent and I don't want to lose my job so I thank you for inviting me is a I'm sure it's a delegate conference I can only but um, wish you the best of deliberation and continue to talk about Nigeria mr. president um, thank you for that very long detailed speech. Whenever you listen to things like this, and at times want to decide, say a few things that might not be in support of my own sister, because the chairperson is my sister. But when they say we wash our dirty linens in public, there's nothing you can do, because the, the linen is already in the public. You're just uh, doing, because there's nothing you can do. It is we that are in government that is actually doing that. How do you, Mr. Chairperson, see what our brother read today? That we are going to face hunger strike in a country like Nigeria, where there's vast, fertile land. And he mentioned three states that is going to be mostly affected. Borono State, Adamawa and Yobe. The three states, Borono State is the second biggest state in Nigeria with 70.9 thousand square kilometers. Followed by, <laughs> followed by, among the three states, Yobe is 45.5 and Adamawa is 36.5. Three of them put together is 108,000 square kilometers. That is five times the size of Israel. Israel is 22.1. And so if you size Israel is two, 
110, and this is 110. And this there is doing food exports, and these people can't feed themselves. That is what is wrong, and that is what we must fix to stop washing our dirty linen in public. I wish you the best of deliberation. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much. I recognize the former Vice President of Nigeria and my leader, Laji Atiku Abubakar. All other protocols, Zuli. Mine is a very simple one. Let me start by thanking the organization for inviting me. As you know, I'm one of those strongest beneficiaries of the judiciary. For my strong legal team, for the work of my small legal team led by Dr. Nyechi Bazu, SAN, and let OJ Nadi SAN, I wouldn't be standing here. You know now from my election petition to my impeachment to my eternal interpretation. And again, whenever people talk about corruption in the legal or in the judiciary, and one who takes the exception. In all this journey, I did not give anybody one error. So for me, for me, for me, I remain eternally grateful to you for what you did for me to be here and everything. Our topic today is well, democratic transition in the 21st century Nigeria, 2023 and beyond. I think it's for great people like you or people like Chimaman that you invited but for me, as a trader, I will try to contribute in my only two way, the way I think we should go. For me, democracy, have a simple description. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. That means everything about democracy is the people. And transition means changing from one thing to the other. And for me, Nigeria needs urgent transition from being a highly insecure country to a secure country, from a disunited country to a united country, from corruption to a transparent country, from a country of lawlessness to a country of law and order. But in all this, it is important that we look at where we are today for people to understand the gravity of the journey we are going to take if we are going to transit. Where are we today? Nigeria have qualified to be a failed state. We have met the two or three biggest characteristics of a failed state. Number one is when you are no longer in charge of your territory. Today we are among the top terrorized countries of the world. We are among the top kidnapping countries of the world. Bandit criminality, bandits have taken over some parts of this country. Nigerians are being killed daily. Nigerian all sorts of criminality is going on daily. Even our most important source of foreign exchange revenue Oil is today 80% stolen. That shows how bad it is. We are the only country, 
apart from Venezuela, who we know is their own is because of sanctions that is not meeting up its OPEC quota. Every other country is begging for increase, but Nigeria is not meeting up its own. And you wouldn't believe the quantity that is missing. In July alone, our total average, our quota is 1.8 million. In July, our total average was 1 million 83,000 barrels a day. That means that in July, we lost 707,000 barrels per day. If you multiply that by 20, 31 days, it will give you 22 million 227 barrels of oil that we lost. This is a country that needs dollar. If you sell it, if you sell that oil, if you sell the quantity we lost, this is July alone. If you sell it at the average price of $110, it will give you $2 billion, $450 million, which at our rate of exchange of 550, you lost, if you use 550, because I used an average of 550, you've lost $1 trillion, 344 billion, 700 million naira. That is your country. That's what you lost in one month because of stealing. It is important that we know this. Number two item, number two item to show that we are first state is that you are no longer in control of your economy. Your economy today, today, we have an economy that, where we have over 100 million people living in poverty. Your unemployment is one of the worst in the world because you have a combined unemployment of 50%, unemployment and unemployment. Out of 200 million Nigerians, 60% is supposed to be working. So you're supposed to have 120 million Nigerians working, but today Nigerians that are working are under 50 million. So 70 million of Nigerians are not working, they are not productive. When you compare this to your productivity, you will see how low it is. But what is even worse, we're in a physical mess, total physical mess, because of all this. Between January this year and April, the total revenue of federal government of Nigeria is 1 trillion 630 billion naira. Their expenditure is four trillion seven hundred and twenty billion. If you minus this, we have a deficit of three hundred three point three trillion one hundred billion. That shows almost twenty percent to almost two hundred percent is the deficit, and this is the crisis you face. How did we come here? is a cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. Because it's 10% that I've stopped here, I would have stopped our power. How did we come here? What are we going to do very quickly to come out of this? Very quickly, you need to have a visionary, articulated, competent leadership to start turning around this. So next year, next year, the time is up, I'll take it that uh, uh, next year, your election you're going to have next year will not be about, remember, it is not about tribe, no religion, not connection, not entitlement, it must be election about character, competence, capacity, a commitment to deliver.